Hi, I'm Ajay Sitaram, Cloud Architect here at Okta. So in the pre previous tutorial, what I showed you was how to invoke the Amazon Pet Store API, which is offered in an unauthenticated form. This time, I'm going to actually use the same API, but I've got an API gateway that has a simple authorizer that enforces basic authentication. So what that means is that our goal now is to actually get an authorization header with basic space, username colon password, and base64 encode of that. That is what you get when you're actually using basic authentication. We will use the exact same parameters and you, you would have to set up your own API gateway with a simple authorizer in order to be able to repeat this part of the tutorial. Okta Workflows makes it really easy to be able to accomplish this. So let me go back to the flow that I previously had constructed and pick up from there. I'm going to add parameters of username and password. I'm going to add a text concatenate card so that I can concatenate username colon password. And then I'll add another card to base64 encoded. So username, colon, and then the password. This gives me the basic string that I need to encode. So I take this and encode it, which gives me the string that I need to apply with basic prepended. So here's another text concatenate card. So it's basic space and that gives me the value that I need to use for my authorization header. So what I had done over here in the object construct is already got the content type and accept. I'm going to add on this value. Save it. Let me go over to Postman. Get my URL to be able to test it. Great. And now you can actually see that it's the same value that Postman returned. But we have now done basic authentication against that API endpoint.